Hello. Today we will see how to place fixture on existing truss from Depends or from imported model. For that I will just insert a truss from the library and delete it because I want a specific one. Reset the position of the truss group by double clicking position and apply. From here I can right click on it, add generic truss and circle element to have a circular part of truss. I will drag and drop it under the truss group. Go to settings to adjust the trust properties. So I want 180 circle angle and I want a truss of four points to have a square. Then in terms of transformation, I want minus 90 on X plus 90 on Z, turn something straight up. I will use the hang fixture tool and select where I want to set my fixture here. Then I have to search for the fixture I want to insert. So I will search for the Martin zip. I will select the extended mode and drag and drop the fixture into the tool hang feature. So here we can see that we have five fixtures um, spread into the wall line, but I can adjust here to start from 5% to 95% easily. Then I can activate or not the rotation based on this plane to have something normal to the spline. So I, without activating it, I have the fixture straight up and then I can rotate them on the axis I want. So here to have a head down or if I want, I can have to face directly as then I can also multiply the element if I want to have eight features. Create. So I have directly inserted eight features normal to the spline, but without any rotation of the feature. Let's try with the spline. So I will delete all of that. I don't need it anymore. And here I will go to cat view switch to front mode i will insert a circle click on draw a circle spline here i can maintain shift to have something square okay i will reset its position to have it on zero on its settings i will adjust the look i want so here my angle will be minus 90 degree to plus 90 degree to have only of, of the cycle, I will increase the count of point to have better alignment and I want it to 5 meter. Sorry, 5 meter, like that. I don't want it to be closed and I have my spline. On this spline, I can add an extension, right click on the spline, add extension and add a range extension. This year will allow me to add fixture all along the spline. So I can come back to library here and I want eight of them. So I will simply drag and drop them here in terms of transformation. I reset everything and move it under the spline circle. So you see that all fixture has been uh, set on the line. I can go to the circle spline. And here I can rearrange on spline arrange the position of the fixture. So here I can define to start at 5% and at 95%. Then I can activate or not the rotation on the spline. I will keep it this time. And I can rotate like I did before by 90 degrees, but it will be minus 90. And if I'm going here, you can see that you have your fixture placed on the spline as you want. See, 